As uh, an artivist would be like the mix of combining artist and uh, activist, as you you asked me before. Uh, the, the thing is like uh, what I love uh, by bringing messages through different material is like to to bring sometimes poetry. Um, everybody is remembering about the beauty and the beast, and as the 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 fairy, the fairy tale. And uh, I create uh, an art piece here um, called The Beauty of the Beast with O and double F. Um, just because I create that. Sorry, I'm bringing it to you. And then you will make a close up in the video, babe. And the thing is, like, uh, by creating this kind of pieces, um, the message was like this flower is all made with old money bills, but has no existence in that time. So I've been collecting something from the past who had a real interesting value. And in my message, beauty of the beast, the beast is the money because everybody is craving for it and everybody wants to get more of it. And when it's the time for that money to just go down like a flower, it's the time where I think that the money is the most beautiful. So creating something with an importance at a time at a time that doesn't exist anymore and to create something that will never go down. Uh, when I used to live in New York, I, I, I did uh, a project. Uh, this painting is out of the project I did in the street. And uh, when you passing in the street of New York, you see on all the, the works place, but it's written post no bills. Um, for me, a bill is a poster, but it's also something you have to pay and it's also a money bank, bank note. So I just decided to create a money, was not the money, in a place where only the money has uh, a really important value. If you go to America, New York is like the city of money, you know? And, um, and the thing is like, by creating that project, the name of the project was Post No Bills, Post No Bells. I was printing out these huge money bills, bigger than this one, pasting them up in the streets. And I replaced the president by maybe the president of the consciousness or maybe of the people who had like different values as being a president, being maybe a thinker or a visionary. And um, the, the different character I decided to put in this place were Nobel Prizes. Um, I used uh, Mother Teresa in my project, Martin Luther King as well, and uh, um, Albert Einstein. And also I did to highlight this special character behind me, because um, we're living sometimes in a society where we all know different names by knowing who they were. So everybody heard about post no bills but post no bells about the Nobel Prizes but actually that time of the project was the time to actually that time of the project was to highlight the person behind the Nobel Prize who's Alfred Nobel. Um, I'm not so active on the social media because it's a, a certain point of view I had I have and I had and uh, still evolving because I think point of views are made maybe to evolve. Uh, I create an entire exhibition in 2018 for the Museum of Nice and the exhibition name was Reality Show. The exhibition took place in an old jail on the port of Nice and I decided to highlight all the things that them but make us prisoner in a certain different levels or certain way and uh, social media was really targeted in that exhibition because the the, the thing is like um, today the, the cell phone uh, iPhone Samsung whatever uh, is something like it's a kind of chain uh, as being prisoner of your screen is like you looking at your screen but not really considering the human living around you it's really sad when you're going for example to have dinner and uh, and you see people around you having dinner together and watching them their own phones side by side the thing is like 
we could have dinner through a screen that would be maybe better but the thing is like when you're with real you mind by your side you should share the time you have with them working with the social media is like I'm not sharing that much things about my life sometimes I'm sharing projects when they are done or many years after I did it uh, like the painting I did for the Ukraine uh, invasion was a painting I did like 10 years ago and I just decided to post it at that time just to, to say that sometimes you can paint something in the past and uh, it becomes more and more not valuable but more real with a stronger message at a certain time so uh, I create that project behind me uh, called the Wack Dons Project and I started that project in 2010 and since then I've been traveling everywhere in the world by pasting up different messages and, uh, and using um, uh, the psychology way uh, in the fact that uh, as I explained it before uh, it's um, the conditioning operating with uh, a dog throwing a ball bringing back the ball giving him a reward for the dog the game or the contrainte will be to go after the ball and uh, the reward will be the food and then that project took all its sense because by going to McDonald's everybody's is like witness of this every day you can see parents bringing their kids giving them the beautiful box full of colors and cartoon just to make them attractive and you can hear at the parents every time telling to the kids oh first of all you can finish your fries and then you will play with the toy and the thing is like they remove the rewards it's not anymore the food it's the game so la contrainte is only to eat like the poison and from that I took the weapon of McDonald's and I decided to make them mine in a way that they use like the Disney Empire by using it just to touch you in the belly from your childhood because everybody has been a child everybody knows about like Snow White, Pinocchio and all these characters and I decided to paint them as clowns could be the family of Ronald McDonald just to say that they've been contaminated and changing the messages it's why I painted like in Brooklyn the huge portrait of Snow White dressed up as a clown and eating a burger instead of an apple and, and I was witness of a little boy passing by when I finished the wall and telling to his mother, Hey, mom, have a look. Snow White is eating the poison burger. And that was the correct message I was bringing. So the first painting I did behind me was about Mona Lisa McDonald because I called that painting Culture Shock just to say that the cultural fact that Mona Lisa is really important. And today the or you say the development of advertising is becoming so important when you look at the World Cup you see that the sponsor has McDonald's like coca-cola nothing but belongs with the sports and the the message that I was like trying to tease people deeper than what we're living actually is like I hope not but maybe one day McDonald's will take the right to put like a label behind Mona Lisa just but people taking picture of Mona Lisa seeing McDonald's in a frame just to make advertising uh, here we are in a special place um, in Italy I won't tell the, the place where we are because I love to keep some secrets sometimes and uh, the people who will come and visit will think that they're special by coming here because I think uh, this space is my next project it's the new step in my life after becoming a dad. So all the noise you will listen during that interview are really important because that's the noise of the work in progress. Uh, when the studio will be finished, then many production will come. Maybe many meetings also, maybe many um, common project with different artists or different uh, association workshops people coming here and doing art with their family and exchanging learning living with a big L and uh, trying to to tease you with uh, some sculpture
by looking at that interview, when the sculpture will be out, you will understand why I was teasing you at that time. Thank you very much for being there.